Hello everyone and welcome to another English with Joseph. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about adverbs. But before we talk about adverbs, I would like to tell you about an expression of weather that we use in English. I am thinking of this expression of the weather because here in Barcelona, in Spain, it's becoming a little bit hot. Okay, so it's certainly not very hot, but the weather is changing and is becoming hotter than before. So, if you want to say it's very hot, of course you can say those words, it's very hot, but you can also use some idioms that we have in English. One idiom is, oh, it's roasting. Of course, this is a, a reference to the verb to roast, which is what we do with meat when we cook it, you know, when we put it in the oven, we roast it. So you could say, oh, it's roasting out there. Or another one, you could say, oh, it's like an oven out there. It's like an oven. So, oh, it's roasting, or, oh, it's like an oven out there. There's many other variations of this, which are about the word hot, or about the word uh, cold, for example. Oh, it's freezing in here. It's like a fridge. Oh, it's Baltic. Oh, it's like Siberia. I don't know why we say it's like Siberia. I'm sure Siberia is very nice and it's not that cold, but we often say these things. So those are just a few ways in which you can express changing weather. Oh, it's like an oven. It's roasting. It's freezing. It's like Siberia. It's Baltic out there. Yeah, There's other ones as well, but... Generally, English people, as you know, love to talk about the weather. So when we talk about it, we sometimes become a little bit excited and use different idioms. Okay, so today we want to talk a little bit about adverbs. Okay, well, what is an adverb? The best way to think of an adverb is it describes what's happening to a verb fully. You can compare this to an adjective and a noun. For example, if I say the carpet is red, the adjective is red and is describing the carpet. If I say I ran up the stairs quickly or I ran upstairs quickly, then I'm describing how the verb took place. It took place quickly. That's an adverb of manner, an adverb of how the verb took place. But there's also adverbs of place. I'm sitting downstairs, or he was sitting downstairs, or he will be sitting downstairs, is an adverb of place. That adverb tells you where the verb happened. It happened downstairs. He's sitting downstairs. And there's also adverbs of time. For example, uh, he went out yesterday. Yesterday is the adverb of time. It tells you when the person went. Not all adverbs are words. They can be phrases as well. Um, I was punched in the street last night. Well, the adverb phrase there is in the street. Mm -hmm. Or I could say, for example, um, I remember once when I was a child, I did something. The adverb there is once when I was a child. It doesn't have a particular time attached to it. So those adverbs of how, adverbs of manner that is, adverbs of place and adverbs of time. But there's many other types of adverbs also which describe the verb or describe something more about the verb which changes it a little bit in terms of its meaning. It makes it more emphatic or maybe it 
makes it less emphatic. For example, I ran up the stairs quickly, I walked up the stairs slowly, or I ran up the stairs slowly. It changes the meaning a little bit because it tells you more about how the verb was working. Well, that's my explanation of adverbs. I have a booklet on adverbs. If you write to me, I'll happily send it to you free of charge. Otherwise, you can find it on Amazon with my other books, which you can see, um, which you can see, uh, I think, on this Daily Motion site. There's a link to all of my Amazon books, and also to my other sites. I have a Facebook and Twitter, both of which are very active in bringing you information daily about the English-speaking world and little tips for learning English. Okay, so. I hope you found this helpful. Feedback is always useful for me. If you would like to give me feedback, please do so using the Daily Motion comment box or send me an email, Facebook me, or tweet me. Okay, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you and have a great day.